Permaculture Cooperatives. One Community Weekly Progress Update, number 344. One Community is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We are creating open source and free shared blueprints and resources, tools and tutorials, and do-it-yourself instructions for highest good living. Creating solution models that create additional solution creating models in the service of all life on this planet. My name is Jay Sable and I'm the Executive Director of the One Community 501c3 nonprofit organization. This is our weekly progress update number 344, October 27, 2019 edition. One Community's goal is to bring together people with a consciousness for the highest good of all life on this planet and to create sustainable and self-replicating teacher demonstration hubs as a pathway to global sustainability. And today what I want to talk about today's topic is permaculture cooperatives. Because really what we're creating is a global permaculture cooperative built of small individual permaculture cooperatives. And they don't have to be permaculture cooperatives. If you're not familiar with what permaculture is, Google it and learn about what it is. My definition of permaculture is that permaculture is about creating sustainable ecosystems that cover all aspects of the living experience based on what has already been demonstrated as working in nature and leveraging the successful systems of nature to create complete ecosystems that support all life. And I think it supports all life for the highest good of all life. And so this is our idea of permaculture cooperatives. And so we've been working a lot on permaculture tutorials, if you've been following our updates, uh, on how to specifically roll out a permaculture cooperative. But everything in this video, happening in the background of this video, is a part of the permaculture cooperative that we're creating. And we're open sourcing and free sharing the tools, the tutorials, the resources, and do-it-yourself instructions for replication so that we can create that as a global permaculture cooperative. You know, people all over the world working together to implement permaculture or just to implicate, impl <laughs> implement an individual component of permaculture. It might be the housing component. It might be the food component. It might be the energy component. It might be the education component. It might be the fulfilled living component, the social architecture aspect, or maybe the highest good uh, economic aspect, either a for-profit or non-profit business, or the, the bigger picture of the sustainability, the global stewardship component. Each one of those components can be implemented as an individual component, but what we're designing as a permaculture cooperative is a, a, an amalgam of all of those things, a combining of all of those components to create an evolution of sustainability that better meets the needs of people than the way that they're living right now. Like we can create permaculture cooperatives where everything that a person needs is within walking distance, where a person with all their friends and their family can live in one environment and have everything at their fingertips that they need through cooperation and collaboration so that they can better need the, meet their, the needs of their expenses, the education, their social and recreational needs, all within walking distance. And so the one community model is designed to do that. A permaculture cooperative built on cooperation and to demonstrate that, hey, when we work together, we can cook amazing meals, like restaurant quality meals for 200 people through the efforts of three or four people. And it takes less resources, it's more efficient, takes less time and energy and produces a better result than doing it individually. Now apply that idea to laundry, apply that idea to childcare and groundskeeping and social architecture and recreation, and you can see how through cooperation and collaboration, we can create environments that are far superior to the way that people are living right now. And we've already created these environments as cities, but they're not cooperative and collaborative. And so when you're driving long distances to do the things that we want to do, or, or depending on where we live, we might not even have access to the things that we want to do. Like how easy, how easy is it for you if you wanted to start a game night, a movie night, a book night, a soccer game, or a baseball game, or a go on a nature walk with a bunch of your friends, how easy is it for you to do that right now? Well, through permaculture cooperatives, you could have all of those things within walking distance because your friends, your family all live close to you. People with common vision and common goals coming together to create communities and then creating the recreational activities that are most supported by the group. And we want to demonstrate exactly how to do that. And same thing, how easy is it for you to get food that's not sprayed with pesticides and herbicides and fungicides? And that's poison that's being sprayed on, sprayed on our food. And we have to go out of our way to get that. How easy is it to get water that is clean and doesn't have 
uh, additives to it that we don't want that are in there. Well, you know, we have to go out of our way or buy purifiers to do that. We could build that into our infrastructure. How easy is it to know that you're living in integrity in every decision that you make in your lifestyle as far as sustainable energy is concerned? Or how easy is it for you to get the education that you want for your kids? Right now, for most people, that is really challenging. And so we've taken an approach to it saying, well, if we're going to build permaculture cooperatives, let's build them from the ground up with the highest good consciousness for all people and all life on this planet, starting on the micro level and expanding to the macro level and as a model that can be implemented globally and making it easy enough, affordable enough, and demonstrating it's attractive enough so the idea will spread its own. Open sourcing and free sharing this evolution of sustainability that takes the physical foundations, the food, the energy, the housing, and combines them with the emotional foundations, the highest good fulfilled living social architecture models, the highest good education models, the highest good economic models, and true earth stewardship, putting all this together as an evolution of sustainability that creates the core and the foundation of these permaculture cooperatives and working in cooperation, collaboration with others doing the same around the world through the custom software that we've designed and, uh, and cooperating and collaborating to create a world that works for everybody within our lifetime. This is what one community is about. This is what we're doing. And so we've had uh, just under 400 volunteers help to this point to create this and make it possible. None of us are paid. I'm not paid for what I'm doing. Neither is anybody else in our team. And we're doing it because we want to live this way. We're doing it because we want to see a world that works for everybody. We know that we can address the greatest challenges of our generation generations to come. Climate change, homelessness, poverty, social injustice, inequality, war, famine, these kinds of things. We can create solutions to these that are replicable and virtually permanent if we build it from the ground up and we build it correctly and we build it with the intent, that intent, the intent to create for the highest good of all life on this planet. And so that's what One Community is doing. This is what we're up to. Anybody can participate. Join us on social media. Donate to our project. Little donations make a huge difference. If you want to donate 5 or $10, we really appreciate that. Make a $5 monthly donation. Like I said, none of us are paid for what we're doing. So if you do that, it makes a big, big difference. It helps us cover our website infrastructure and costs. We'd love to upgrade our servers right now. We're doing a push to try and upgrade our servers so our website will be more stable and will load faster. You know, And so every dollar contributes to that. Go to our social media channels. You don't have to donate money. Just donate a few minutes of your time. Put us in your schedule to go to our social media and like every Every week on Facebook, just go and click like on all of our different posts to show that you know they're supported. Share the things in our website that are most interesting to you. Go to our Instagram page or our Pinterest page and like those, share those. All this stuff makes a difference. Subscribe to our YouTube channel every little bit. Just watching to the end of this video helps our YouTube algorithm. So anybody who wants to help can do so. Anybody can be a part of Permaculture Cooperative starting today. You don't have to wait until we build one community. You can start helping today. And if you have, even just watching this far in the video helps. So thanks. Thanks for supporting us. Thanks for following our progress. And you know, until next week, we will, of course, keep on keeping on. Watch the rest of the video to see the details, a little bit more specifics on each of the components of our project and how they all fit together. And uh, yeah, thanks again for watching. Check it out. Check you out uh, next week. Have a great week. Thank you. The one community approach to highest good housing is eco-artistic home building that is affordable, sustainable, do-it-yourself duplicable, resource and space efficient, and consists of seven different sustainably constructed village models. One community is also creating an open source duplicable city center. It is designed to be LEED Platinum certified, provide 12 guest rooms, dining for over 150 people, and laundry and recreation space for over 300 people, all while saving money, time, space, and resources. One community's approach to highest good food is duplicable almost anywhere, scalable for different needs, more biodiverse and nutritious, part of forwarding a global open source botanical garden collaborative and includes nine different free shared and duplicable growing environments. The next component is High's Good Education. This component is complete and pretty much ready to launch once we're on the property. One community's approach to High's Good Education is designed for all age groups, adaptable to any schooling environment, inspiring and fun for all participants, includes national standards, all subjects, lesson plans, teaching strategies, learning strategies and tools, classroom design, and more.
The one community approach to highest good society is globally focused, individually enriching, cooperative and collaborative, includes a highest good network and application, four different economic models, and combines fulfilled living and true earth stewardship for the benefit of all people and all life on this planet.